Well, I'm just about to um, make a move. I am. Let's get them down. Through to the Newcastle uh, radio station, um, Nova Radio. Good evening everybody, how are you doing? Are you alright? We're off to Nova Radio, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Nova Radio. Nova Radio. Nova Radio. We're off to Nova Radio Studio. <coughs> if you want it. Is that stuff worse, right? That one smells nicer. Have you got your aim? Um... Hi. What's it? The card, I've left mine in there. Come on. Need tea for yet, need. Hot coffee. Should have brought a flask. How do you feel about the no hot water? Don't even go there. Good evening Stephen, how are you doing? Good evening Blake, I'm not too bad, what have you been up to this week? Uh, the same old lock-in, uh, he's staying in the house as a good boy, should be doing. Uh, good evening Neil, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad at all, just looking forward to things to go wrong and watch you panic. It's mad though, because like, even though Neil's with us and he helps us out massively, I've never seen what he looks like. He's always down with the computer or the laptop or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe he might uh, he might give you a little bit of a, a viewing on the webcam. So uh, maybe you've got that to look forward to as Send well. Send your messages in. See, you all want to see what he looks I'll, like. I'll just hide behind the buttons if it's all the same to you. So oh, he's been very modest, oh, isn't he? Yeah? Oh, isn't very, he? very oh, modest, isn't he? Oh, he's so shy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> But it was your birthday last week, how did it go? It went really well, I got to see the kids at the beginning of it and yep. uh, just chilled out with the wife because obviously you can't go anywhere or uh, do anything. Go, so uh, so strange, isn't it? I spent half of my birthday uh, mucking about putting computers and everything right for Nova, so it was fun. Anyway, can we play our first dedication? Yes, go for it. And, you know, if you want to look on live on the webcams, uh, you'll actually see the, the people that we are playing these songs for. And this first one uh, is uh, Brian Howard, is dedicated to Billy Howard. And the song is a Johnny Cash classic, it's Man in Black. It was taken three years ago with cancer, bless him, at the age of 76. Love and Miss You, so this is the song. This is for Billy Howard, Johnny Cash, Man in Black. 25 seconds. <clears throat> On the next one I need to run, um, load up another song. Right. And the next one's not going to play because it's not green. No, if you've got it, well, let me just yeah. check. <clears throat> yeah, you're fine with that one. You're going to do some talking, so I'll put some jingles in for you. Ready? <clears throat> oh, there you go, a bit of Johnny Cash to start tonight's show. That's what I call a proper song, that. Proper one. Johnny is looking at the playlist tonight. We've got some uh, rather bizarre songs normally would play you know some beautiful sentimental song i think we might be ending up raving in the studio tonight and i'm sure uh, you know people listening at home when they put these uh, requests on i'm i'm convinced that the people in spirit visit i'm absolutely convinced to do that what a deb said when she's just come out and finished her show yeah she's just what she said she's you know she says this has happened that's happened in yeah. the ashes i think that they're waiting for you anyway susan holden's getting back in touch with the show she loves to listen to the show because it gets her through a tough time, and it, it does with a, a lot of uh, a lot of the listeners. It's such a great show to do. Well, get your comments and messages sent in to the Sentimental Sunday Show, and we'll read them out. Absolutely. Let's get this next song on the road. Absolutely, yes. Uh, Heather Davison has uh, sent in a request. It's dedicated to Danny Egan, uh, and the song is Daniel, OK, Daniel, Danny Boy. And it's to my dad, who died at 51 year old on the 22nd of December. This is the song. Oh, 
It's an old song, this you can tell by the crackling. Yeah, it's, it's uh, ripped from a record by the same I thought it was my headphones. <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, there we go, Elton John. Right, getting back now, I've shuffled the cards, Georgie, I'm gonna just put them into three separate piles, and I'm getting up and down and up and down. I don't know, I'm just getting relationships, and I'm getting the feeling of being let down. I pull an angel card out now, and it says that you are a spiritual teacher, and you have the ability to counsel others, which is an allowing them to open up their spiritual gifts as well. It seems like you're quite a sensitive person. Um, you're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but please don't descend down to their level, which is basically saying, be very selective of who you keep in your company um, out of the, outside of this lockdown obviously um, just just be very selective of who, of who you have because sometimes that people act as if they're a victim when really they're just taking advantage of your kind nature and remember this is just for entertainment purposes only on Nova Radio 102.5 FM <laughs> I'm going to just pick some the seventh person. Six, seven. Tracy Trenholm. You're quite a fortunate lucky person. I seem to read you quite a lot, but you're the seventh person, so you're the one who I'm going to air, who I'm going to choose, and then Blake's going to choose somebody for Liza. Mind you, honestly, guys, some of the messages I've gotten even this week off people telling us stuff that I'd read last year for them, and they want another reading now, and like even people who I've read like a couple of weeks prior and they're saying, Steve, honestly, it's just crazy. Like you've said this, that, the other, and it's just happened. You know, I mean, one girl I read, a um, mother was uh, was adopted and I and I said, um, I said, it was Jean. I'm keep getting the name Jean. Um, but her mum's mum had passed, I believe. And uh, anyway, she had messages the next day and she went, I spoke to my mum about me reading here. And she went a little bit like pasty. And she said, actually, uh, there's something I've never told you. My actual birth name was Jean, but she didn't know. And that's like where you've got to have a thick skin as well when you read people, because you're not a, you're not a clue what you're saying. Um, and sometimes people are just not 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 doesn't make sense. Doesn't make, they'll go away and speak to someone, and they'll understand everything that's been said has made sense to them. Like getting a walk, and it'll give you a clearer mind, and it'll help you think a lot better as well. In focus. It's just um, you know, in the, there's quite a few strange things are going on in the studio tonight. There's Neil surrounded by flashing lights. I've just seen a flash out the left hand side corner of my eye there. And well, um, well, the voices were playing <coughs> voices, uh, and I don't think it was Liza's uh, link. I think it was voices in the studio. But people, wow. some people will be listening at the minute. You know, going, no, why? Why? The electronics was we're doing a radio show, don't they? I see. I'm used to it, as I keep saying every week. But these are freaked out. But I bet you there's some people listening. People get uh, uh, course it is, but I it's true. It's Jamie true. With me. It's true. Anyway, Tracy Trenholm. School and study and education will help your life's purpose and personal growth at this moment. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. I hope that makes sense. Please feel free to send a message in and let us know whatever it is, if whether it made sense or not. Right, Liza, Blake's going to pick somebody for you now, um, and I'm going to step back. <laughs> Barbra Streisand. It's like that song, isn't it? <laughs> Barbra Streisand. Anybody seen Miss Streisand? Miss Streisand, you want it on the stage? <laughs> We're listening to a song that's been playing for like <laughs> three minutes or something. Not a word. Oh, now she's just kicking one in. Yeah, and she's got 20 seconds and then she's going to get kicked off. off <laughs> it's like, yeah, Barbara! Right, we've got a jingle coming up when Barbara's eventually finishes. <laughs> to the stage please Miss Streisand. Brandy, do you know what is, what a beautiful song Don't about, chill it is out. at the end of the day. Lovely to hear that. And can I just say hello to my uh, cousin Pat Haddon and our daughter Brioni. I hope you're doing well tonight and uh, listening in. They've been listening the last couple of weeks, the little tinkers, but they never told us. Do you know why Pink Floyd wrote this? Why? It was to commemorate Donald Campbell um, dying on Coniston Lake. Ah, oh, it's gone back round to Coniston Lake again. What the one in the day, did he die on? Coniston the Atlay? He was doing uh, the boat speed record. Oh! It was actually my brother in law who salvaged the wreck. How we? How we? It's that. He's rebuilding it in um, Time Out. I think you should mention that. What do you think, Blake? What's up? You need to listen to what he's just said, that's crazy. Oh, did you not hear any of that at all? No. 
This song, yeah. He's taped on with yeah. one finger, nearly like at the minute. Right. This this song was this written, song was, was written, written be because they were inspired by Donald Campbell dying on Coniston Lake. All oh, right. So you have spoken about Coniston Lake today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, funnily enough, my brother-in-law, actually, sorry, brother-in-law from my previous marriage, um, he salvaged the wreck that was in Coniston Lake because there was All a right. diving ban on after the accident, and he's been rebuilding Bluebird. It's called in. Um, in Tynemouth, in his uh, workshops. Spooky. Very, very spooky. There's actually kind of like a, a slow shot of uh, the bluebird flipping in part of the video for it. 